Developing now, and this is a story across the entire country today. Thousands of people gathering in downtown D.C. for starters, moved by the accounts of undocumented children separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border. The protesters' primary demand, reunite families. Kevin Lewis at the live desk now with the highlights. Kevin, I thought reunification was supposed to be underway. Uh, and the thought is that they have about a month left, Kimberly. Protesters, they picked Lafayette Square today as it sits in the shadow of the White House. However, President Trump and his family are not in Washington. They're spending the weekend at the Trump family golf course in New Jersey. An estimated crowd of 30,000 gathered in Lafayette Square to question the practice of splitting up undocumented immigrant families. Many hoisted signs, one stating, history has its eyes on you. If you're sitting home and you think there's nothing can be done, you're, you're in the wrong place. You have to be here today. Some of the protesters suggested abolishing ICE and eliminating American borders. Ros Lee traveled from Harlem. We have a responsibility to all children, and politics should not harm children. It, I mean, I think it really hits us. These Montgomery County women are both new mothers. Even just coming here, we had we left our babies at home because yeah. we didn't feel comfortable bringing them out in the heat, and I, I miss her just being away for a few hours. One uncontrollable variable, the sizzling summer heat. D.C. fire treated at least 45 people for exhaustion, including a man on the back of this ATV. Engine 16 later manufactured a rainstorm. Dozens smiled as water soaked their clothes. One block away, Harvey Simpkins handed out flyers accusing Democrats of being as careless as Republicans. To the extent that they are trying, that they are, are shedding crocodile tears for these immigrant children now, all of a sudden, it's to gain votes. I mean, clearly, it's a, it's a, it's a ploy, and uh, they, don't, they're not actually, they don't actually stand for immigrant rights. Around 700 similar protests took place across the country today, and while D.C.'s included celebrities like Lin-Manuel Miranda and Alicia Keys, it drew around 30,000 fewer demonstrators than expected. At the Live Desk, I'm Kevin Lewis. Kimberly, back to you.